Hi everyone. Merry Christmas to everyone. It's beautiful Christmas Eve here. Um, and I'm sure all of you are super busy wrapping presents and cooking and preparing for um, what is one of the most beautiful times of the year. I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I did try to do this without a script before and I rambled quite a lot. So I've written a few things down about 2020 and the workshops that we're going to be doing through the summer holidays. I actually wanted to do this video to reassure everybody. I, I promise I am still working on all of these things. It has just taken a little bit longer um, than I thought. So um, we will be doing some summer workshops. It will be in the last two weeks of the summer holidays. So we'll be doing crystals, oils, um, just as, a, as an added bonus, because we all know that the kids are just loving them at the moment. Um, and they love going to Mr. Miss Stacy's room to go and touch them all. So we're gonna do, do a workshop on that and where they get to take some crystals and oils home with them. Um, so we'll be doing that. Plus we're doing obviously musical theatre, and drama, singing, and hip hop, and a lot of amazing workshops. Um, we also have some special guests coming, which will be fantastic, and also some songwriting workshops. All right, so I have been interviewing some prospective teachers and working on making the time timetable easier for everyone to understand and also to navigate when they've got different children in different classes. Also, we are going to be doing a monthly direct debit from next year and onwards. We're doing a, um, a back-end system that's going to make it way easier for everyone, which is awesome. We're working with a local company that does some um, software and they will be doing that. Well, we are still currently working on it. We're ironing out all the glitches now. It may not be 100% perfect, but of course nothing is perfectly imperfect, of course. Um, so that's what we have been doing in the, back, in the background. Um, also, we'll be doing a mid-year showcase and an end-of-year production next year, both of which we will not be doing near as many rehearsals for because it is huge and it was such a large undertaking. Um, I think that's a little bit of that stemmed from it being Mary Poppins to begin with when we announced that at our mid-year showcase and then it being retracted. So because I'd announced it, I didn't want to let the kids down. So I wrote one around Mary Poppins, but obviously changed it and wrote some different songs in it. Um, so we did have a schedule prepared and it was all wonderful, but it sort of went out the window and we did another one and it was a little bit skew with. When we now get another one that we purchase, that means that everything will be much easier and adds up, it'll be shorter. Um, and there'll be more opportunities for children to have different parts. So look out for that. It's going to be very exciting. Um, and there will also be an opt out option. Is that right? Opt out option. Uh, if your child does not want to be in the production, but they really love coming to class, but not a fan of being on the stage itself, there we're going to be running it so that they are like other, other schools do and other studios do. They can be in the class, but they just won't be in the productions themselves. So that is an option if it's just far too much for your family, because every family is different, of course, then please have a chat with your teacher um, and we can definitely coordinate that for sure. I just wanted to quickly run through some things that we've we've achieved this year because we we did end with we ended with a bang with our production, but through there was a few little bumps and um, obviously obviously in a first year that's going to happen. But just quickly, January did the greater show production. Then we renovated the studio at the same time. In three weeks, we got it ready to open on the fourth of Feb. The Steve Bromhead came and opened it with us, and everyone was there to greet um, or walk into the new studio, which is awesome, best feeling ever. So exciting. Um, we did Taste Fest in um, January, I think it was. Um, we sang quite a lot around the area, actually. Then we um, we introduced the Mary Poppins production at the end of our amazing mid-year showcase at Club Tari. Um, then we rewrote it, which was huge, by the way, and a very, very large learning curve for Miss Stacy. Um, we then um, had the most um, horrific bushfires we've ever seen here. Um, we then had a lot of families that were not able to make the the rehearsals, of course, and some had only mainly done one or two rehearsals that whole time. The way that those kids handled that production, with some only doing it once or twice as a group, was just incredible and is a credit to all of you parents and caregivers. Absolutely amazing. Usually for a show like that, you would have done probably eight uh, dress rehearsals at the MEC itself before doing the show. So a credit to everybody that did that and especially for everybody that was helping as well backstage. We couldn't have done it without you either. 
Um, so, well, oh, actually we did a songwriting competition too, didn't we? And um, Sam Stevens um, won his age bracket, which was amazing news. So we got a little, a lot of budding songwriters coming up, which we'll be working on in 2020. Um, what I wanted to say was that I'm very grateful and um, this, year, he, this year, I should say, has taught me so, so much about what the kids really want to do and some things that they don't necessarily want to do and what works. So every year we're going to be growing and learning together. And I think that's amazing. And I think that the, the acceptance among all of the kids with all the differences and all of that, you can really see shining through every single day. They, no matter what happens, they've always got each other's backs, which is exactly why I opened that studio to make sure the children had a safe place to go where they could feel like they can be themselves. Sometimes at school, they might, may not get that. And when they come there after school, for some, it's like their second home. So it's really my, it's in line with my vision that I've had. Um, it can only get better from here. So um, thank you for trusting me with your beautiful children. Um, I can't even tell you how grateful I am. It's, you know, without words. So um, in the next few days, I'm gonna be obviously spending time with my family and my children. I was very concerned that you guys had thought that I was not putting in in the back end um, to get that 2020 timetable time out. But please rest assured, I've been interviewing different teachers. We've expanded so much so quickly that we do need um, a couple of more teachers to make sure that we're giving your kids um, the best performing arts um, experience that we can. So once I have those teachers and everything's in place, I will be putting that timetable together as quickly as I can, as well as getting the um, workshops put out for you all to have a look at what dates may work for you. There will be some days that will be full days, um, nine to five, so that if people are working full time, more than happy for drop-offs before you start work. Lastly, from my family to yours, we thank you for, um, for everything, for entrusting us and um, wishing you all the very best. Please give those kids lots of snuggles from Miss Stacy. I already miss them. Um, and I'm gonna go and snuggle my beautiful children and, and my family. Merry Christmas to all of you. And um, we'll see you in the new year.